Well, it's still, of course, kind of fresh. And I think there are so many women around the country who are just heartbroken. And it was a gut punch, even though intellectually, after Super Tuesday, it seemed like this was the path. I think it's very hard. And I know you flashed earlier the photograph of Senator Kamala Harris, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Senator Amy Klobuchar. So I think this is just this has been a series of losses for women that feels very, very tough. And ironically, of course, coming at a time when women are completely fueling these primaries, women are overwhelmingly the majority in the caucus votes. I think there were 59 percent of the South Carolina voters. And so it's a tough day. And Elizabeth Warren is a great candidate. She's a great elected official. I just interviewed her recently. She could walk into the Oval Office tomorrow and run this country in a spectacular fashion. And that's just very hard. It's hard to square this circle tonight. Hmm. Uh, you mentioned uh, that iconic photograph. We were hearing from some of the people in it, Senator Harris, um, uh, Speaker Pelosi also weighing in on all of this with the gender dynamics to call it out, to address it. Uh, here's some of that we wanted to play for you and for viewers tonight. Take a listen. Every time I get introduced as the most powerful woman, member, I almost cry because I'm thinking, I wish that were not true. I so wish that we had a woman president of the United States and we came very close. This election cycle in particular has also presented very legitimate questions about the challenges of women running for president of the United States. I do think there's a certain uh, element of misogyny that is that is there. I think America is ready for a woman president. Cecile. Well, I couldn't agree with I couldn't agree more with all of those incredibly important leaders. And I guess there's one thing we could do to take the first step, and that is there has to be a woman on this ticket. And I think that's the message that has to be heard loud and clear that women are dominating the primaries. Women will be the majority of voters in November. And I think it's really important that the remaining candidates in the race understand how important it is that we move a woman onto the ticket. Uh, and so and I think, as you saw from Senator Harris, obviously, Speaker Pelosi, who has been, you know, dealing with these issues forever, how important it is also to have women on the ticket and in, national, in the national spotlight who fight for women on the issues that are plaguing women in this country. The fact that we don't have equal pay, that there isn't affordable child care, that women are desperately concerned about health care access. We need someone on this ticket who can listen to women and speak for women and then can govern uh, for women. And I hope that's what we'll see. So given your knowledge of how all this works and all, all the, the campaigns you've been a part of where you interface both winning and losing side and lobbying or organizing, whatever words people want to use, um, how does this work? You just said it here on national television. Your view, Cecile Richards, there must be a woman on the ticket. Uh, you've, you've supported Democrats, so you're speaking to whoever becomes the nominee. Um, what kind of backroom conversations are going on? Is this a litmus test that people, donors, others are going to uh, extract uh, from the, whoever the nominee is? Well, I don't know what kind of backroom conversations are happening, but Ari, you gave me the mic, so I want to just say it here first, because I do think it's important. Uh, women put their heart and soul into this primary. Several of them supported the women who lost uh, or who are no longer and look like will be the nominee. And I think it's really important to recognize that women are a super majority of this country. We're a majority of the voters and it's time we have representation. Right. And I think for all this conversation about when will we have a woman president uh, and and acknowledging without going into all the barriers that both Elizabeth faced and others faced, one of the ways to make that a shorter trip is to put a woman on the ticket and elect her on this ticket next November. And I think and it would inspire women and others around the country. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here. Or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us and we appreciate that.